Good morning, St. John's family. This is Pastor Brady, and this is our Monday prayer time. And this is Monday, May 11th, 2020. As I come to you this morning, I want to focus our prayers today, our time today, on finding the little things that maybe we've been missing before the pandemic that we found now are so important. Those little things that are in our lives that we're now missing, and now maybe we appreciate more. And we're going to talk about later in the week with the midweek devotional on Wednesday about how we have discovered those treasures in our life that maybe we've been missing. Maybe we've been covering up with our busy schedules, just the, the regular activities of life, and we haven't noticed the little things God has placed before us, those special moments with special people, those things that bring us joy day by day. Maybe we haven't been seeing them clearly because of how busy our schedules are, because of how filled our lives are with other things, other worldly things that haven't allowed us to focus on God, what is truly important, and all the special things God has put right before us that sometimes we just don't notice. And so I want us to focus on that today in prayer. And also let us remember those in our church community and beyond that are suffering, those that are facing illnesses, those that have experienced recent death, those that are dealing with a COVID-19 crisis, you know, that are close to the front lines, those families that have lost someone or someone that is still sick in the hospitals. And we just pray for healing in our nation that in these weeks where our restrictions start to be lifted, that the disease may be vanquished and we may come back together better than ever, more unified, and that the church may feel a sense of revival in bringing the word and the love of Christ unto all. And before we go to prayer together this morning, I just remind you of those in our church family, Merle, of course, uh, Merle's family, as Merle has passed on and is now with the Lord, we really keep his family in prayers this morning and in the days to come. And we are really thinking of Larry and his family. Um, Larry was hospitalized last night. He is doing better this morning, but we just lift them up in prayers as well. And all of the others in our church family, our community and beyond that are dealing with medical issues, that are dealing with anxiety, depression, mental health issues, and all those that feel spiritually broken or spiritually lost. So now let us go to the Lord in prayer together, and throughout this week, let us find the little joys, the little bits of, of love, and all those little gifts that God is placing before us. Let us pray. Father, as we come to you this morning, as I stand in your sanctuary, as others come to pray in this moment and, and throughout the day, we just ask that you make us more aware of those special moments, of those little things, of those joys and, and special moments of love that you place before us day by day. That we don't let the things of the world and our schedules and lives, as we come back together and as we pray things become more normal, we just ask that we remain focused on you. And that in these days when we have been separated and isolated, maybe we've had a chance to reflect on you more fully. Maybe we have seen the special things that we have been missing. And now we can grasp more fully what is important in our lives. And oh Lord, as we come to you now, we continue to pray for the doctors, the nurses, the first responders, for our leaders in the decisions that they make, and for all those people afflicted with this virus. We just ask that you take this virus away and as the restrictions slowly get lifted, that we come back together doing things in the right way, unified and revived in Jesus Christ. Be with us throughout this week, O oh Lord, in Christ's holy name. Amen. So find those little things, those little moments today and throughout the week. And on Wednesday, we will talk about the treasures of life that we sometimes miss in our midweek devotion. So until then, may God bless you. Amen.